Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your free DJIA Elliott Wave analysis for the New York trading session dated Tuesday the 7th of December. I'm going to start this analysis with a quick look at an historical chart going back to early 2000. I have the end of a cycle degree fifth wave at this point. Because it's a long sustained rise, it looks really strongly like a long five wave impulse. Thereafter, at it's, it's super cycle degree, the Dow is probably within an expanded flat correction to the downside with a corrective wave down for A at cycle degree, a corrective wave up for B which is a 154% correction of A. For an expanded flat we'd normally expect wave C to be 1.618 the length of A. This downwards movement is already past that point but because wave B was such a long length in relation to A, 154% of it, which is outside the usual guidelines but well within allowable limits, we would then expect wave C, the C wave at cycle degree, to be 2.618 the length of A, which would give this whole structure a typical expanded flat look. So that gives us a target for the Dow of about 2,278 points, which may be achieved in a Fibonacci eight years, about October 2015. The cycle degree wave A lasted three years, B lasted five years, the next number in the Fibonacci sequence. The next number is eight years, so that takes us up to 2015. Taking you now to a daily chart just for the last little while, where this black B down here is this black B down here, and this is all within primary wave two of cycle C to the downside. We had an A off to the left of the chart, three wave structure down for B, working on a five wave structure to the upside for wave C black, with a one, two, three, four, probably not over here. If it was, if we tried to put the four label here, we'd have an A, B, C, and C is a really, really strong three wave look, so that's not possible. I'm going to say that our fourth wave at blue or minor degree is most likely not over, and it's unfolding as a regular flat correction with an A which is a corrective structure, thereafter an exaggerated A, B, C for wave B pink and wave B within it, a nice three wave structure. Wave B green reaches beyond the start of A, it's a 117% correction of A, and wave C reaches quite a chunk higher, 62 points higher than 1.618 the length of A. So this is what an expanded flat should look like, an A an obvious 3 for B and a strong C that ends comfortably beyond the end of A. So the inverse at a bigger proportion is what we're looking for in that historical chart I was just showing you. I expect that wave B pink is over here because we can see a really clear 5 wave structure for wave C green, therefore we should be seeing a C wave at minute or pink degree unfold to the downside to end this fourth wave flat correction. Wave C pink will reach equality with wave A at 10,961. It's extremely likely that wave C will end beyond the end of A, below 10,976. Because if it fails to do that, then this fourth wave at blue or minor degree will be a very, very rare running flat correction. I've only ever seen one of those on an hourly chart on the dollar index. And all the time I've been analysing these markets on a daily basis, that's how rare they are, so I expect we're not going to see that here. I expect we'll have, it's quite, I expect we can have quite a lot of confidence that we've just had a little trend change at minute degree, and we're in a C wave, which is probably going to unfold as an impulse to the downside, and is highly likely to reach below 10,976 points for the Dow. Wave 4 blue cannot move into wave 1 blue price territory, so the downside and validation point is 10,720, and that's the point of differentiation between this main wave count and an alternate I'll present at the end of this analysis for you. My midterm target for the end to primary wave 2 is 12,520, where wave C black will reach 0.618 the length of wave A. For it to reach equality would invalidate the wave count at primary degree, I don't expect that's going to happen. I expect we're going to see this downwards movement also bring price fairly close to the lower edge of this wide blue parallel channel, which contains this impulse for wave C black to the upside. Taking you now to the hourly chart with this green C and this green B, is this green C here and this green B down here. And the C wave at green degree is a simple impulse with a 1, a zigzag for 2, a long strong 3, a triangle for 4, and a fifth wave here. 
within this wave 3 orange degree, wave 3 purple was 17 points longer than 0 0.382 the length of wave 1, and wave 5 purple was 13 pips longer than 0 0.382 the length of wave 3. And this first wave is extended, and the ratios within it, wave 3 aqua has no Fibonacci ratio to wave 1, but wave 5 aqua is 13 points longer than 0 0.618 the length of wave 1. Ratios within this fifth wave of orange degree, wave 3 purple is 2 points longer than 1.618 the length of wave 1, and wave 5 purple just 7 points short of 0.618 the length of wave 1. We had this typical thrust out of this triangle when it finished this E wave, which is exactly what should be expected after a triangle, and now the trend has changed to down, and we have some movement below the lower edge of this orange channel on the hourly chart. This channel is drawn using Elliott's technique around the C wave impulse, a trend line from 1 to 3 is first drawn and a parallel copy placed on the low of 2 shows us beautifully where wave 4 ended and now the trend channel is breached to the downside we can expect that this trend at least in the short term has changed from up to down. In this wave count says we're within a C wave which is most likely to be an impulse, could be a diagonal, to the downside that's likely to take price lower for the next week or so. Here's my alternate wave count at the daily chart level. It, this says that wave B at intermediate degree is still unfolding as a flat correction with a three wave structure for A, a three wave structure up for B and expecting a five wave structure to the downside for wave C. This wave count will remain valid and will be confirmed with price movement below 10,720 10, points. It's only invalidated with movement above 11,468. It seems less likely than the main wave count though, so I'll just leave this chart here for you to, as an illustration that this is possible, but I expect it's less likely than the main wave count. So we should be expecting downwards movement for the Dow for the next week or so towards that target, uh, not below 10,720 points and likely to see price coming close to the lower edge of that trend, trend channel on the daily chart. After that, we'll see further highs from the Dow. That's all for me with your Dow analysis. I hope this helps you in your trading, and I hope everyone else has an awesome day.